In this video, we're going to review adding data to LP360 SEAS. You may have created some LAS uh, point cloud files uh, and also ortho mosaic um, raster images in software packages such as Metashape or Pix4D. And we're just going to review how to add those now. So at the top middle here, we have the Add Data button. You can click on that to add data. Also, you have the option to go to File, Open, and you can add projects or uh, files here as well. So let's just, to start off with, let's go ahead and click on that Add Data button. You'll notice these are the default settings. If you want to go ahead and do some classification right off the bat, um, it's a good idea to go ahead and uh, choose this open setting, um, open read write. If you just want to view the last files, you're not worried about doing classification, then you can do read only. Um, if you if you're going to be adding some additional LAS or ortho uh, files uh, later uh, from say another flight you want to do some comparisons it's a good idea to go ahead and leave this unchecked the append to compatible layers so to add data you can add by folder or individual files I usually use the um, add individual files let's go and click on this plus button so already already in my in, in my uh, LAS uh, folder I'm gonna go ahead and choose my LAS file and click open in the bottom right Next, we want to choose the raster tab again. If I'm going to be adding uh, a raster later and I want to compare the rasters, uh, you want to leave this unchecked. Uh, otherwise, um, default settings are fine. So let's go ahead and click the plus button here. We're going to go to our GeoTIFF file that we created in Metashape. I'm going to click open in the bottom right. Uh, you can also add shape files here or other feature files such as DWG, DXF, KML, or KMZ files. Uh, you can also, uh, we have the option to convert a DM into LAS data. That's an option here as well. So I've got my LAS, my raster uh, selected. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You should see something like this. I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, we have individual points that are being scaled. Uh, on that uh, point cloud data set. Uh, I can also toggle that on and off here in the top middle. We've got our raster uh, file loaded as well. Uh, also, one thing you probably want to do initially is add a WMIS layer uh, backdrop. So I'm going to go ahead and click that now. You should see options like this. I usually choose Google Hybrid and select that now. And then we can see that that's a backdrop with our data. So this is just an initial uh, uh, demonstration of, of loading uh, the LAS or raster uh, data that you have, may have uh, created in uh, Metashape. So thanks for watching.